Alright, so I'm about to show you ladies my brush collect collection and show you some of my favorite brushes. These are all my face brushes right here. Stand up. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty all of them. I have different brands of brushes. These are all my eye brushes right here. And I just put in a little thing with some rice in it. And these here are like little folder holders or something like that. It holds folders and desk organizers. And this is like a magazine holder. And I cut the top off because it was at a slant. But I put rice in there too. These are all my little brushes. These are some matte brushes and some other brushes that couldn't fit in. These are double-ended brushes that had something on this side and on that side. And these are some dirty brushes that I need to wash that I used when I was on a music video set for Bobby Valentino and Little Webby. Well, we're not necessarily going to go over all these brushes, but I am going to go over my favorite or must-have brushes, like, and what they're used for. First of all, let me tell you this much. This little brush set here is from Eco Tools, and I got this from Target. It's a four-brush set, and I don't know where my fourth brush is. I'm about to cry. But this is the best set they got and it's limited edition it's four little brushes that comes in a little pack they got them separated like this if you can find this at target girl you better grab them brushes when i say these are the best little brush sets that they ever great little but they're the best where is my fourth brush that's what i want to know oh good i can't find it see i got to clean up my makeup room but yeah i love these what is missing it's a brush like this but it's not angled it's still round and it's a blush for Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, is this not any? I thought that was it. Yeah, these are at Target Eco Tools. Wherever they sell Eco Tools, you can go online and find these um, small little kabuki like set. Do that, girl. Love these brushes. Okay, my must have or my go to brushes. Definitely my kabuki brush from. What do you call it? I think I got this from CoastalSense.com. This is one of my go to brushes to put on my powder all over my face. I love this brush. That's one brush that's my fave. These little stipling brushes here, I use it to put on my blush. Love this little stipling brush. Not sure where it came from. Probably a matte brush. And I like to control how much I put on it. So this one here, because it's so sparse, you kind of have more control. Oh, and Sonya, Sonya Kashuk has these kind of brushes too. Sonya Kashuk is also sold in Target for the low, and it's really, really good brushes. Um, they sell that brush too, so it's really, really good to put on your... This is what I use it for. You can use makeup brushes for anything. You can use eyeshadow. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Make it work. Do it. Um, but I like to put this blush on. It gives a little bit. And you can just pile it on, pile it on as much as you want. And it gives you the look that you need. Without overdoing the blush and looking like a little clown. Okay. Not talking about anybody who walks around looking like a clown with a blush. blush but whatever. You know, whatever makes you happy. Okay, this brush. And it's all bent up. I don't know. I wasn't. I didn't bite it or nothing. I wasn't eating it. But it's kind of bent. This is an e.l.f. powder brush. And this is a flat brush. And this is really good for putting on powders as well. So you rub it in the powder. And then you rub it on. You dab it on. And you get a lot of coverage um, with this brush. I like this brush. I really do like this brush. This I use this today for my bronzer. This is an airbrush precision foundation. Sephora. Probably like $36. No Sephora. But it's kind of like that. And I like to use this for my contouring. Because it's almost like you can draw a nice fat line with it. Because it's shaped like that. So I use it to get the blunt bronzer on or the contour on and then I'll soften it out with this brush. I like this brush. But you can also use, I think it's Essence of Beauty. I forget where I get these from but look it up online. Essence of Beauty. This double ended. You can also use this side for your bronzer. It's angled. And then I use this for my highlight under my eye. Highlight powder or I use this MAC 109. I think it's a 109 brush. A little round powder brush for the highlight under my eyes as well. I think it's a 244 smudge brush. Looks like that. And this is absolutely great for putting color right up under there. I love that for that. This is an airbrush crease brush by Sephora. It's fluffy. This is almost like the MAC 2, I think it's 217 or something like that. Fluffy brush. And I can do use my concealer. Cream concealer to really get it in and nice and smooth. I like this um, for that. What else me love a long time? Huh? Definitely get that uh, little this little set here. It's cute little brushes. But Sonya Kashuk has a brush like that too at Target. And I just use this for this one specifically. I use this to when I when I do my eyebrows, I put concealer on the top and the bottom. So I would take the powder, the setting powder, to set the concealer with this, and it kind of gives it a precise over that brow because of how it's pointed like that. So I like to use this for that. Yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Okay, this is an e.l.f. small angled brush. And it's angled. 
and I use this for my cream or gel liners to apply my gel liners. It's angled and it picks up a lot of color for me. And you know, because it's angled, it's easier to apply my gel liners on top of my lid. I love this brush for that. I use this to put sometimes my foundation, my not my foundation, my concealer. I use this to put my concealer under my eyes, and I use this when I put in my concealer on my eyebrows on the bottom on the top of my eyebrows and I use it to blend it down and smooth it out and to smooth out the color and I like this one for that and this one here I use this one for my um what do you call it a stinger primer my eyeshadow primer so I use that I put this in my primer and then oh, I'm sorry not that spot but right up here is why I put a primer on this with this one I like that one that's really nice I definitely need one of these for eyebrows it is so necessary for eyebrows also great for falling out of uh, glitter fallout so when you get some glitter falling on your face when you're doing your eyes you just do that but this serves three purposes when you're getting down on your eyebrows number one you come straighten them out then you do the pencil powder whatever you're gonna put on then you put the powder the pencil on it you want to kind of like soften it up and get it into those brow hairs real good you use this and it kind of like especially in the front part right here you want to kind of thin that out make it look a little sparse because real natural eyebrows are kind of sparse right there. You know what I'm saying? They're not like all colors deep right there and just like a straight line right there and it just stops. No, stop doing your eyebrows like that. I see a lot of people do that. Um, anyway, so it smooths that out. And then when I finish doing my eyebrows and everything and I want to like make it look a little more sparse right here, I'll take a little bit of liquid liner. No, not blah, blah, blah. liquid foundation. Like whatever, liquid foundation. Studio Fix Fluid is what I put all over my face. But I'll get some of this out the top. And I'll just stick it in the little top, get a little, a little bit of color on it. Then I'll put it on the first part of my brow and just like sweep it back a little bit. And that adds your skin color back to your eyebrow over the powder, whatever it is you use to fill your eyebrow in with. And it gives it a look of sparsity. You see hair and then you see your skin color. And the skin color of the uh, liquid foundation may be on a hair, but it looks natural. It fades natural into your eyebrow. So that's one of my tricks that I do. And I have a video doing that already. Another thing that's a must to me are these two 266 brushes from MAC. This is a 263, but they're very similar. 266 and 263 brushes from MAC. They're all angled brushes. And I have three of them because one is for concealer to do the top and the rod bottom. That's the only one I can do my concealer with. I can't use something like this to do my concealer. I just can't do it. I tried it before and it don't work for me. Or using a brush like this for my concealer like... It's dirty, but you kind of get the idea of the shape of the brush. I can't use a brush like that for my concealer. This brush here is to put the powder on or the pencil on or whatever just to get it, the color into the brow. And this third one is the gel liner when I want to just darken the end with a different consistency of brown. So I use the gel with this one. Then I use the pencil and the powder for the other one. So I personally like to have three, so I'm going to keep cleaning and keep cleaning. I got this brush from Bare Essentials. Heavenly Eyeshadow Buffing Brush. And this is almost like a blending brush. It's flat. And it's kind of roundish. I like this brush a lot. And it's good for like blending out. You can blend out and buff out stuff like that. So I like this Bare Essentials Heavenly Eyeshadow Buffing Brush. Um, you definitely need a brush. This is an e.l.f. brush. It costs $3 from Target. You definitely need a brush like this to apply your eyeshadow onto the lid. This is a must to get it on the lid first and foremost. So you want to have a brush like this. Not necessarily this one, but any brush that you find with the same shape. You don't have to get the exact same brush that I get, but stuff with the same shape of what I'm showing you is what you need to get it on the lid. And then to, this is another elf brush to blend out. Or you can use that very since you want to blend out. Um, when you want to get into precision or kind of like cut in the creeks, meaning a concentrate line of color, this is a Sonia Kashuk brush and this is good for cutting the crease. And this is out recently, and this is December. I got this last month, I think. So you can use that for cutting the crease if you want. Dip it in some color and then draw you a line, honey. Get that color on there. Cut that crease, baby. Um, and if you want to get a little more of not so concentrated cut crease, you want to use a brush like this. This is also a Sonia Kashuk brush, and it came in a set like this. It's kind of thin, so you can just get that color on there. You know what I'm saying? So that's the cut the crease. A regular MAC brush for uh, makeup or uh, for blush is good. 120, I think it's called. This blush brush from MAC, and that's good for this. I also use this Sonia Kashuk brush or a stippling brush similar to this to do my highlight. And it gives me just enough color for my highlight, not too much. I can use that for a highlight, or I use this 
this for a highlight. So I dip it in a highlight and I kind of just like, I use it sideways. I don't know why I do that, but I do to get the highlight on in a C shape. Oh, this is another contour blush bronzer from Sephora. This is another brush similar to this e.l.f. brush that you can get a lot of color on with your uh, foundation. And I like this a lot. I like this. And I just put that on my face. I need to clean that because I use this on the set. But it's flat and it gets a lot of color on there from your face powder. Um, this is also by Eco Tool. This is another like loose powder brush. You dip it in the loose powder and you kind of like put it on. You dab it on. You don't really rub it in, but you dab it on if you really want to get that color payoff. Because it's kind of angled. It's not just flat. It's angled. So you can get a good coverage with that. This is by Sonia Cash. It gets a little set that came like this. Um, it's kind of pointy. You can use it to cut a crease and also blend it out at the same time. And I just put that on my eye and I need to clean that. I am tripping. Oh my gosh. Now this is my favorite brush for glitter. It's a glitter eyeshadow number 24 brush from Sephora. It's a silicone looking plastic head that you can just touch the glitter. It'll stick to the glitter and then it's, it has this precision like pointy head so you can get in the grooves real good. I like this brush. When I go back in Sephora now, I don't see it. I got this a while ago. I don't see it anymore. You may can get it on the site. It's a glitter eyeshadow brush number 24. I use a matte brush to put on liquid foundation too. So my liquid foundation, put the liquid foundation, okay, we're going to go through them now. So this I could put liquid foundation on. Put my liquid foundation all over. Bam, got that. Then I want to go put my powder on my face. I'm going to put my powder on my face. So I rub it in. Put my powder all over my face or I use my kabuki. My little kabuki brush and I just put my powder all over my face. Um, concealer. So I put my concealer on with this here. With this little brush. Put my concealer on. And then I just put the concealer powder, setting powder right there over the concealer. And then I bronze my cheeks. Or I can put the um, powder over the concealer with this side. Um, blush. I can use my regular, one of these blush brushes here to put my blush on. Either one, the stippling brush or a regular blush brush. Put that on. Then if I want to do my highlight, sun. Put my little highlight on with one of these. You know, put a little highlight on, whatever, you know. Do like that, you know, whatever, like that, my highlight. Then I showed you the eye brushes, you know, the eye brushes that you need for the different eye looks um, that you'll be doing, you know, smudge under here with my little smudge brush to get the color at the bottom. Uh, put the a little dome shaped eyeshadow brush to get the, on the crease and a little fluffy brush or whatever. No, not this one. A little fluffy brush, something fluffy like that to like blend it out and stuff like that. Oh, one more brush. It's gonna be a brush, something like this to do your highlight under your eyes, right there under the eyebrow, just to get that little highlight color on there. Then we're gonna go back to your eyebrows. A little spoolie, get them eyebrows straight. You know. Soften up the, the color that you put on there. Also put on the liquid foundation to uh, smooth it out. And then these little angle brushes, you know, to put the color in and put the concealer on and stuff like that. Um, so those are your basic brushes that you can use for makeup application. I have so freaking many. Those are your brush basics. The basic brushes that you kind of like that I use basically out of all the brushes that I have. Um... And I also used to use this fan brush for a highlight. I put in a little highlight powder and just get just enough on there as well. You know. Of course I have this angled precision eyeliner brush. This again has no name on it, but CoastalSense.com sells this as well. I'm going to try and remember to put some links below that has really cheap brushes that you can, uh, cheap, inexpensive, I want to say cheap, I want to say inexpensive, but definitely good quality. You don't have to always run to MAC, but MAC, MAC does last forever and ever and ever and hold strong. But um, I will definitely put some links at the bottom to uh, brushes that you can purchase if you're a beginner. Alright, so I'll talk to y'all later. Love some.